rest Same of the fight thing. now. I just the whole thing's gonna be just gonna be an easy mode online only combo. <laughs> Mission I'll be using that lag pattern. Mission confirmed. Taking off now. Go. Blades at the ready. The Griffin sucks. Yeah, it doesn't look like it's holding up fairly well. Go. Loosh. Of course, from my Zoid's Legacy LP comes the uh, Blitz Liger, Blitz Tiger. Really. Holy shit! Damn, Harry's putting in the work. Okay. <laughs> I guess the Zoid makes the difference. The Zoid makes the man, one might say? That's a partnership right there. Oh, yeah. A sponsored partnership, you know. Oh. The sponsorship is now gone. But I got the chair. Uh -huh. <laughs> gone. Gone. Poof. In an instant. Gone. Like it's a money pit. So, when do we start begging for subs? Right now. Oh, I, I need you guys to sub to this channel. It, it helped tremendously. Oh Contributions are mandatory. Can he do it? Is he gonna finish no. off the Blitz Tiger by himself? I mean, Blitz Tiger seems to be like having a tactical retreat moment. But to no avail, because he's dead. There you go. Complete with a foghorn of victory. Your command was almost perfect. Well, his command was almost perfect, Spartacus, so... Almost. That's the key thing here. Also, badass freeze frame. Oh, yeah. As, as is a tradition for Claudia herself. Oh, yeah. So how many battles are in this tournament mode? Twelve. Dose, if I were to give a Spanish uh, answer. And a boss battle, too. Mm-hmm. The Seismosaurus, yes. the main villain of Zoid's Fusors, who is a total joke. Oh, Zoid's Fusors. I can't believe I watched that whole show. Can you? Hey, man. Somebody had to do it, you know what I'm saying? It wasn't me. Me, me. Thankful. Let's yeah. do it, then. Yeah, committed to the, the to this to this whole franchise, man. Mission confirmed. Taking off now. Is the mission confirmed, though? I mean, she says so. I mean, are you gonna argue with her? No. Absolutely you, have not. Have you seen the way she can crush me if she wanted to? Oh yeah. In the wise words of one Spike Spiegel. I love the kind of woman who kicked my ass. I like how we always, like, link that clip or that gif whenever we talk about, like, pretty much any waifu that I have, because they're all... They all fit that repertoire. If it works, it works, man. Go. Ain't nothing wrong with it. You know me. Daidoji. Oh, yeah. We, we theorized that Daidoji would, like, be the person who would, um... Like, get a gla or a whole bottle of Kraken down it, crush it, and then, like, um, be like, yada yada dancing. <laughs> just, just how weak it was. Yeah, just, I told you to give me something strong, and this is the best you could do. <laughs> like my strat here? Oh, yeah. Jump around, jump around, jump up, jump up, and shoot down. Go. 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 Hey, Go. out of curiosity, you ever think about doing like an LP of uh, any of the Senran Kagura games? Well, Spartacus, you did buy me Senran Kagura. That was a gift, yes, I remember that. Um, I have recently taken a liking to one of the more kind of mascot characters, that being Miss Yumi. Of course. Or as Asuka would call her, Spotlight Stealer. Yeah. 
Yeah, I would like to co-op LP that with you one of these days. Shit, man, by all means, I'll bring all of my Senran Kagura knowledge to the game. When you see this character, played... by the way, do you think that maybe, uh, Yule Cowards don't even smoke crack? <laughs> What's up with that? Hey, this can't be good for me, but I feel great. Yes, I feel great. I can't do this. You know that <laughs> reference or not. <laughs> I don't think I do, but I'll it's appreciate when, um, it. When Piccolo fuses with a uh, uh, um, nail. Yes, I feel great. I can't do this. <laughs> it's been so long since I watched original DBZ, but... I did remember that he happened to fuse with nail, I guess, as like a way to... Give him some form of a power-up? Yeah. Still got overshadowed in the end, though, but... Okay, let's fight the Mad Thunder again, but with a more powerful Zoid. That's gonna go good. Oh, yeah. For him, that is. Yeah. I do like the design of, like, these... Even though these dinosaur-type Zoids are... Kind of strange, I like the fact that this one Triceratops with... Two cannons for horns. Go, go. Kinda reminds me of a battleship. Go, go, go. Go, go. I do enjoy like the dynamic I write between Claudia and Shiro just because like even though, like, they are a couple, they're kind of, like, playfully at each other's... Like, like they kind of just have that general dynamic of, um, teasing each other, you know? Well, like, almost like they're competitors at the same time. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it does add a nice mix to it versus that whole lovey-dovey stuff. Yeah, I, I like... I'm extremely wary about writing, like, OC X canon character ships because I don't want them to seem like, you know, waifu fulfillment type stories. Yeah. <laughs> nah, I feel you, man. I mean, you know about my Tenchi uh, universe yeah. like, story. Like, this is the first time I've ever actually thought about putting in an OC, and that, like, community is very particular with its fiction, mainly because, like, the whole concept is these women are in love with this one dude. Can't just throw it random into the mix and, like, make it believable that, oh, well, maybe they don't like him as Tenchi as much. So I was trying to figure out a way to make a good play on it. What the hell? What? Did it just like sit up and turn away like I'm defeated? <laughs> Please don't look at me. My shame. It's been publicly broadcasted. What on earth? D or is that like a void version of a rage quit? A D in reference to the cups of my character here, obviously. It's cool how you can make every single rake something appreciative. Okay, the final battle, let's do this. Oh, man. Oh, Gojira. The bloody d -sorer. I remember watching this one, it was... Ooh. Let's get our young money, you know, Lil Wayne. Let's see. What should Time I do? Time up on that good shit. I guess defense could be good. Why not? Wait, what? Yeah. Oh, I missed. You're only at like. I I, I just had my final shot of crown here, so I can't possibly read. Yeah, you know I'm, I'm looking Let's at. Let's get two pictures. of these. I'm gonna put these, put two of these on top of each other. Ooh. Unless I have anything to sell, I do actually. But let's see. Whatever the hell that is.
Whatever. I hope your whole, I hope your whole family dies in the cart. Um, automobile, automobile wreck. <laughs> So would you say that this is kind of like a uh, situation of give me one, here comes the two to the three to the four? <laughs> you know? Here comes the four to the two. Man. <laughs> Years of smoking and testosterone have ruined my ability to do an impersonation of a anime girl. Uh, I don't know how I should feel about that. The question Cloud I have is, uh, is the mission confirmed? Is it kill that thing? What do you think the D and D sorer stands for, actually, though? Uh, a few options. If we want to get serious, I think it's death, destruction, uh, demise. But if we want to get Mimi... Shut the fuck up, dude. You're a little kid. Okay. <laughs> oh, speaking of what? LPs, um, since we're finishing this game, I should note that uh, I had aspired for a long time to do a LP of Borderlands 1. And our boy here, Spartacus, has gifted me with a copy of Borderlands 1. Remastered. Okay. So, you know Christmas is coming up, gotta get you some. As uh, our character from Borderlands would say, uh, Roland, it's like Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I remember those days, they were great. Yeah. Brick, the whole time, just what, what, what do you want to do? I want to get up in that thing's face and punch it. That's a big boss, you need a rocket launcher. No, punch it. I do like the like the added effect that on top of all of that, Brick's um, special also regenerates health. Just like that he's just so fucking pissed that he just like regains health to fuck you up. <laughs> it's, the, it's the only way to go about it, you know? Uh, I also invested in the skill tree that actually was called Prize Fighter. Yeah, you get money you like, from punching yeah, people. Yeah. Well, I didn't really spend a lot of money. It definitely, uh, it was nice to just see, like, the money counter go up as I was, like, jabbing people, like, do it, do it, do it, do it. It's like, you know money how when, um, Street Fighter Balrog says, my fight money. <laughs> well, I, I had my own, like, version of that. Uh, if you heard my, my recording, it was, like, me in a fighting game. I would say... No, my 2B collection. <laughs> if you're gonna fight, you gotta fight with something in your mind, something worth fighting for. 2B. That'd be enough. What? Was that you? Was that me? Wait, did did you talk there, or was that the game? Uh, I think it was a little bit of both. Ah, <sighs> first try, final boss. How do you like that? I don't know, man. I've been watching this uh, stream Look at and this. it froze. It's, for me, at least. Well, I have a freeze frame here of Claudia and Harry together, so that's a nice little... Uh... Alright, D. D rank for my cups, of course. <laughs> oh, there I, you are. I am the Great Warrior, indeed. Ooh, they even spelled warrior right. Okay, Not like spelling so that Kama was Kama. Zoids, uh, Battle Legends. Um, yeah. What do you think of the game for our final retrospective of the true and honest end of the game here? Well, the story in and of itself, um, I don't know. It's I guess if I were like more familiar with Zoids like in the current day, I would be able to follow it a little bit better. Um, as far as combat goes, um, I like it. Some of the battles do tend to go like a little bit quicker, but a lot of these old school like Game GameCube anime games usually had that. I like that tournament boss rush mode, I guess, if that's what you want to call it. You're actually facing off against like characters and more powerful Zoids. Seems and like a by good. By the way, 
depending on who you pick for your main character, you'll fight different characters. So if you, if you pick a new century character, you actually fight like the, like the new century, you know, cast. As opposed oh, really? to, yeah, so it's a little bit different. There's there's replay value to be had in the game, so nothing wrong with that. Just run through with different, like, characters, maybe the same Zoid, just to see how it goes, or... Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I guess that it really is all kind of cosmetic with, like, a little bit of stat difference. Obviously, I have... You know, mentioned I, I, I've hyped up Claudia for Mr. Spartacus here since 2011 or something like that. So it's, it's true. nice to see her in action. You know. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, like at first it was just 2D RPG style. Now it's 3D action. Maybe she'll be in the the new Zoids game. I hope so. Like I, I genuinely hope that Claudia and Raw Tiger can come back. I mean. I don't want to get, uh, no. I don't want to get like, too popular because of the fact that, like, you know, Momokun can cosplay any quote-unquote thick character, but, you know. I mean, if you ever were curious to know what Claudia would look like if she lost control gave, of the just, kind of, just gave up. <laughs> yeah, gave up on trying to maintain the optimum thickness. Should I say that? And then got... I'd say yes, but that's up to you. It is. Yeah. Ooh. Just thought of a fun parody for a song. Oh, yeah? What? Down with the thickness. I was thinking about that. Yeah, that would be a good, you know. <laughs> Your mother get up. Come on, get down with the thickness. Your father gets up. He's going to get down with the thickness. Uh, it needs some work. Are you, are you prepared for the super swishy suplex, though? Never. Never. I always ever. like to be surprised when it comes to that. Oh, yeah. Well, that's going to be it for the Zoids Battle Legends Let's Play. It's going to be the end of that. So, um... Yeah. I do hope everyone enjoyed our good fun times with all of our, our favorite friends there, like... You know, Zan, Claudia, all of them, and of course our favorite friend, Spartacus62. Oh yeah, man, it was a blast. It was, it was. Um, hopefully I'll be able to capture and play the new Zoids uh, Switch game. Yeah, man. I'll be back for that. Definitely be something interesting to see. Shit, it might even influence me to getting it. And the game is uh, thanking us for playing. Because we did, in fact, play the game. No, thank you for your service, game. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I, the Switch game is, like, Battle Legends. kind of like the, like, an evolution of this game. Like, obviously more tight controls and all that, but more of a third-person shooter or Zoids-type game, so. Yeah. We should, at, when the time comes, you know, play that game. Maybe you can play it with me. Who knows? We have the online capability. He has added True. me on the Switch uh, friend code and all that for Blaze Blue. so... Yep, yeah, uh, cross-tag battle has been a little bit friendlier to me than uh, Central, F Central Fiction and Chrono Phantasma ever has. <laughs> so... But, but yeah, man, then, I um... see it in my travels. Again, a, another fun game for a niche franchise all in you know, overall so oh yeah everyone enjoys this series get into it if you would the anime is great watch the fucking zoids anime it's good true um, i can't remember a lot and i only watched the one with like great cloud and the lighter zero yeah but new I, I used zero. to have a lot of fun watching it my personal favorite of the series anyway so oh yeah even though it got formulaic with strike laser claw or as Fusors said it, LASER CLAW STRIKE ATTACK! <laughs> that just gave me cancer. Oh, well, well shit. Oh. Uh, unfortunately, this is the last video with Spartacus. He's gonna die now because... Uh, unfortunately, cancer, so. the, um, the outling Fusors hit me by default. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, the funny thing is, the main protagonist of Fusors is voiced by Brad Swaley, who voiced Harry Champ. And, like, 
God bless the guy, he did his best. You can but, never fault an actor for trying. <laughs> poor guy, you know. Um, yep. Until then, though, uh, I have been Love Game. Spartacus 62. And we will sign out until the playthrough of our Switch game, so... Long live Zoids, and... Uh, don't forget that to not ever regret playing a Let's Play. Also... Nothing is impossible when you have a champion. What else can you say for this LP? Let's let's finish that off right now.